What's going on YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to be talking about um, how automotive relays work and more specifically five pin relays which I have a couple of different types here that I've pulled the tops off of both of them because it's a little bit easier to to show how it works if I have the top off of it. So there's a little gate on the side and I can move the gate to simulate what this little electromagnet does but I'm going to go through that and I'm basically just going to be showing how I am wiring in a five pin relay on my car and uh, why I would want to do that um, and during that explanation of you know hey this is what I'm doing I'm hoping that I can explain well enough how five pin relays work to where it's like the teach like teach a man how to fish concept you know instead of give him some fish you know like I'm not going to be showing you hey this is how you wire one up I'm kind of going to be doing that but I'm more going to be I'm more going to be showing how like hey this is how it works this is the inner workings of an automotive relay so we're just going to go through the basic components of these relays this this is it's covered up with this electrical tape right here is it's just a, a simple electromagnetic coil and basically how those work is uh, when you apply electricity to these two pins, which is the silver one, or the two silver ones, um, what happens is it turns on the electromagnet. When that electromagnet turns on, it moves this gate on the side. And as you can see, you see there's, if I can get a good image, good picture. So there's a contact on this side, closer to where my thumb is. And when this gate moves, it turns over to the other contact. Okay, so that's this is the basic inner workings of the relay, and I'm gonna I'll refer back to that in a little bit. And on the side of most of these relays, you have like this is a Bosch style relay. Ford uses them. This other relay that I took apart, um, Ford uses Bosch style five pin relays. Four pin relay is the same thing. I'll explain what the difference is, uh, what the difference is later. But the same thing internally minus one of these pins. So this little symbol on the side that has numbers 85 and 86 on it is showing that that's an electromagnet. So the electromagnet is on pins 85 and 86. So like I said, when this electromagnet is triggered on, it moves a little gate inside. Now this symbol that looks like a switch is showing uh, the inside of the relay, what pins are connected. So naturally when this is off, 87A is connected to pin 30. So pin 30, oh yeah, sorry, let me finish my thought. So 87A is connected to pin 30, and whenever the switch moves, it switches over to where pin 30 is connected to 87. And like I said, the switch moves by this electromagnetic being activated because it pulls the it pulls the metal. So pins 85 and 86 are in no way connected to um, the other pin 30, pin 87A, or 87. So they're in no way connected except through plastic. They're not connected by metal is what I mean. Okay. So on my... Not that one. I'm gonna use this one. Okay, so just to show this in action, what I have on my car, the basics of what I'm doing is uh, this is where my power comes in for my radiator fans, and this is where the power goes out to my radiator fan. Now I want to add a backup power supply for my radiator fans. I've been having trouble with my uh, with my factory fuse box. Um, as you can see, I've done a lot of stuff to the engine, and the last thing that I want to do is overheat it. I've had my fan shut off once, blew my radiator, bought this radiator, and I just knocked something over. Bought this radiator, can handle higher pressure, it cools off better. Um, it's beside the point of the video, though. So basically, I don't want to damage my car. So what I'm doing is I'm adding a backup system for these uh, for this stock radiator fan setup and the stock radiator fan wiring. But I still want the stock wiring to act as it's supposed to act, unless I... Uh, I well until I flip a little switch and then the wiring shifts to my backup wiring so I have completely two completely separate systems con connecting the same radiator fan powering the same radiator fan but only one powers it at a time so this is the power wire like I said this is for the stock fan system and remember when I said when the relay is in the off position it's the wrong one when the relay is in the off position there's two pins are connected so there's power going to this guy through this pin, which that's pin 30 right there, right? And you can see it's connected to the housing, and that housing is connected to this gate. Now, right now it's connected to pin 87A, which is where my thumb is. If we were to follow the where this pin goes down into the plastic, we would see that it leads down to pin 87A. Now, when this gate moves, it switches over to pin 87. 
All right. So we want to see that in action. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video really quick and plug in this relay to start it back. All right, and we're back. Did you miss me? I missed you. Not really. Okay. So the so I've got this I've got this connected in as you can see, and uh, like I said, I have uh, so pin 30 is going out to my radiator fan, and um, so as you can see, if I were to show here on this little diagram, pin 30 is what's always it's always connected. So pin 30 is going out to my radiator fan. And 87A is one power source and 87 is the other power source. So to see that in action on the relay, uh, so there's always one connection going to the radiator fan. And right now, if my car was on, you can see right here, 87A is closest to where my finger is. So that would be, that power source would have power and my radiator fans would be on if the car is up to that, uh, to that temperature, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the gate just like that. And when I do, you can see the radiator fans come on because pin 87 now has power. So in a four pin relay, that's how they work. Four pin relays, don't, they don't have uh, pin 87A. 87A isn't there, 87 is just an open connection. I'm sorry, 87A is an open connection. 87 is the, uh, the normally, uh, it's a normally open connection. And whenever you move this, whenever the electromagnet right here, which is what you should do by connecting pins 85 to 86, turns on the electromagnet, and when that happens, this gate closes. 87 now has 87 is now connected to 30. Um, so I'm not sure if I said before, but there, there's two ways that you can wire these five-pin relays, right? You can have 30 as your power source, which is what you would do most of the time. You'd have 30 as the power source, and 87 would be one thing that gets powered. 87A is another thing that gets powered, and obviously they're not both powered at the same time. You would have to do something else wiring-wise to have them both get power at the same time. But you want to switch, right? So when one thing has power, the other thing doesn't. And when the other thing has power, the, the first one doesn't. Um, now the way I'm wiring mine, 30 is the connection that's going to the radiator, and 87 is one power supply. That's my factory power supply that, that normally powers the fans, and 87 is my backup power supply. Now, again, the reason I'm doing this is I'm, I've been having problems with uh, with my factory. It's it actually has to do with my 100 amp uh, my 100 amp fuse. I don't know. It's it's not blowing. There's just a bad connection at it. I'm not sure why. I actually replaced the fuse and it still does it. So it's getting frustrating. And like I, I did all this crazy rewiring stuff to the car and put in an aftermarket computer. All that stuff. My stuff works. All the little bugs that were in my my wiring have worked himself out over the last year from when I, I finished this car uh, but the factory stuff is starting to kind of act up so um, that's the purpose that's what I'm using this relay for so again just to recap four pin relay what's a four pin relay four pin relay is the same thing it goes by the same numbering scheme you have 85 and 86 which are the electromagnet and 87 and 30 which are the um, the power? Uh, the, so you can either have 30 as the power source or 87 as the power source. It really doesn't matter if you're wiring in a four-pin relay. If you're wiring in a five-pin relay. It does matter because well, depending on if you're using a five-pin relay as a four-pin relay, it really doesn't matter. Um, but 30 would be the power source, and 87A could be. This, this is one way you do it. 30 is the power source, and 87A is one thing that you're powering. And then when you switch it over, 87. Uh, 87 is the other thing that's getting power. Or you can do what I'm doing and you have two power sources that feed one thing and you can switch between the two by activating the relay. Really simple, really simple operation. You look at this one, the gate's on the bottom. Same thing. Um, and yeah, so 87, 87A. 87, 87A. So they're simple. I love relays. Relays are a lot of fun. It's a lot of neat stuff you can do with them. So thanks for watching and uh, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Thanks.